Vaporesso Swag PX80. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the Swag PX80 from Vaporesso. This is it. I think you'll agree it's a really nice looking thing. Really nice looking item. And uh, it looks like this. On one side, you've got a carbon fiber type thing. Excuse me. On the other side, you've got sort of a leather esque thing. You've got your fire button up, down, and USB type C. And it does take 18650 batteries. And it is positive down, of course. Like that. No issue. Sort of classic, really, sort of classic style, you know, uh, Pico, Pico-esque. Uh, so there we go, that is it with the battery in, and the screen is here. One, two, three, four, five. What's interesting about the screen is it literally disappears. It's sort of like blended in. I think that's a really nice touch. I think that's really cool. Uh, I do like that. Obviously, this is ultimately kind of an AIO pod thing. And here is the pod, it literally just pulls out. Uh, GTX coils in here. GTX coils in here, uh, they look a bit like this, like little mesh duties. Uh, so many of the products we've reviewed over the last 12 months have had GTX coils. These are the ones they recommend for this particular kit. But uh, you know, you will have seen a lot of these already. So this is the 0.8 mesh and the 0.6 mesh. 12 to 20 and 20 to 30 watts so that mid sort of mid to low wattage vape is perfect in here you know it's just a single 18650 etc and uh, there we go so here is the pod it's got a very clever trick if you look on top here you've got a padlock and an open padlock and then you've got an arrow on the drip tip now when you've got it like this it's locked in the coil is locked in when you go like this and set it to unlock you can now push this coil out by pushing down on the drip tip really nice way of doing it means they can get it flush means they can get it flush against the thing very very smart indeed uh, in terms of refilling this pod uh, it's just got a little tag there and you just chuck the juice in it's not brilliant it's not quite a big enough uh, hole it's one of those that's quite frustrating refill it sort of very quickly air locks but it's okay it's doable it's not too big a deal and uh, yeah as you can see it's got fixed airflow on the pod but when you put it on the device there is a thing there so for example that's half airflow you can turn it go full etc so the adjustable airflow is built into the device uh, it's so nice looking though, I would love to see some additional tanks, uh, RBA tank, an RDTA tank, something like that. Uh, because of its nice lookingness and its size, I would like a little rebuildable option on here. Uh, so here we go, so the magic screen appears, one, two, three, four, five. One slight drawback of the magic screen is it looks great in real life, but on camera you probably still see some of the effects on it. What is up, what is down, one, two, three. And uh, we are locked. You can still fire it, but you can't mess with the keys. One, two, three. And we are unlocked again. Another thing you can do is you can press fire and plus, and it gives you sort of your version number and all that sort of stuff, which is fine. And then the main menu is up and down together at the same time. Oh, you've got to get it right. You've got to time it right, though. These are very small buttons. Uh, let's try again. Okay, let's turn it sideways. It's certainly because I'm on camera in real life. You would have no trouble doing that. Uh, so you've got variable wattage, variable voltage, smart variable wattage, that's where it reads the coil and knows what to do. You've got your puff count, you've got your theme, green, blue, pink are your options there. And then you've got uh, default, turn everything back to default, and then exit. So yeah, you've got your variable wattage, variable voltage, and your smart variable wattage, but other than that, very simplistic device. And uh, yeah, there you go. That is the Swag PX80 down low. Let's go up top pros and cons and all that good stuff.
Okay, guys, that was the SWAG PX80 down low. What a nice looking device. What a nice looking device. 18650. So it's nice. It's not a built in battery one. Then there'll be a, a, a separate battery one down the line. Separate 18650 battery straight out the gate. Uh, but really dinky. You know, it's only just, as you can see, it's only just bigger than an 18650. Comparing it to a traditional mod of a similar spec, you can see, hopefully you can see, it's way shorter than, than that. Uh, so really, really, I think it's really nice looking. Really nice looking, really nice dimensions, feel in the hand. Uh, leather on this side, which I think looks very, very classy. Then on the other side, it's got this carbon fiber with the hidden screen. I really like, that's a really nice touch, that hidden screen. Uh, I think it's really clever. Um, so yeah. Aesthetically, one of the nicest affordable things I've been sent for quite a while. Um, and it ticks a lot of boxes. Like specs wise, it ticks a lot of boxes. In terms of the tank, it's a 4 mil capacity. If you're in the TPD 2 mil restriction, it will come with a 2 mil tank. Obviously, if you can get your hands on one, that'll be very easy to change. It might even be hackable. I don't know. I haven't seen the TPD one, but I do know there will be a 2 mil one. Uh, but 4 mil capacity tank. Very clever drip tip situation, locking the coil in place. Uh, it's allowed them again to shrink this down, get that coil flush against the base, uh, which is a really nice touch. Adjustable airflow built into the device rather than the tank as well, making it very easy to change. USB Type C, 8650 battery, very, very smart. GTX coils. I've shown you so many devices that take GTX coils over the last 12 months, and that is a good thing. That is a good thing. That means even if you've already got a GTX device you love, you can get another one that you love because you know you're going to love it because you know you already love the coils. It's really great that all these devices that they're putting out all use these great coils, uh, and you can mix and match, and you can buy safely, and the vape shops can just stock that GTX coil, and they know most Vapresso devices coming in, they'll have the right coil. So I love the coil situation at Vapresso at the moment. Not only are they good coils, but they're universal coils, which is great. Um, so yeah, so a lot of really, really nice little stuff. Um, I really like the locking thing on the tank. I love that it's 18650. I love the hidden screen. Love the looks, love the size, dimensions, and all that sort of stuff. I do have a couple of uh, a couple of slight negatives. Uh, one of them is very a clear negative, and uh, it's something you do need to be aware of because this is the kind of thing that can really upset some people. Um, it's very rounded at the base. It's very rounded at the base. This base should have been squared off. The negative of having it so rounded at the base, donk, donk, donk. I, I've knocked this over more times than I can count. Uh, it's so easy to wobble over. You might have even heard in the down low recording that I, I knocked it over down there as well. Um, so it's just, yeah, it's slightly wobbly. It's a slightly wobbly device, unfortunately, as a result of... As a result of having this rounded bottom, I think that's a, 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 a mistake on their part. It should be a squared off base, even if it slightly affected the look. It needed to be a squared off base. Um, it's not bottom heavy either, so it all adds to a wobbly device. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Obviously, the other thing is this really smart drip tip thing. Uh, it means that it's effectively a built-in drip tip. It's effectively a fixed drip tip. You can't change it for your own drip tip. I think it's a nice drip tip and I think it works with the look and it's got that built in feature so I wouldn't want to change it but just be aware you can't change your drip tip as well. Uh, and then the other negatives are just to do with the specs so I can't see any TC options on here, TCR, prehe, uh, profiles and it's nothing like that, power curve, there's not those kind of settings on here. You've got your straight variable wattage, straight variable voltage and then your smart variable wattage where it's checking the coil, it's aware of all the coils so it puts the right settings for that coil. That's the smart VW mode uh, but that's all it's got. It doesn't have those extra modes you sometimes uh, would see. No big deal for me but do be aware of that. As I've said hundreds of times, watch coil is this? I'm on the 0.3 GTX coil at 25 watts. I just think they're great coils. They flavor some. They last well. 
there's such a nice range of them, all the way from 0.15 all the way to 1 ohm, even beyond 1 ohm actually. So the GTX coils are just a great range of coils, uh, really tasty, work really well, and they work in many devices. It's just a cracking little pocket vape. This a cracking pocket pocket vape. All I would see, I would like to see them do with this now is add extras. Maybe a 510 base, just in case. Um, maybe uh, a rebuildable pod, a rebuildable tank, or an RDTA tank, uh, like Nautilus. I've just uh, like Aspire. I've just done with the Nautilus X Prime. Nautilus, Nautilus Prime X, or whatever it's called. Uh, but, you know, an RDTA thing or an RBA thing for this would be great. It's definitely the sort of vape, because it's so nice looking, so pocket friendly, and it's 18650. It's definitely the sort of thing I would like to put a rebuildable on, to be honest, uh, and just tune it into my exact uh, vape style uh, and really just enjoy it. I really, really like it. Yeah, so it's got that silly thing of a wobbly bottom. Uh, it's got a few little quirks with the specs, things it doesn't have on the board that I don't mind that you might. But overall, I think it's a great little device. I love it. Really, really love the device. Um, I'm really enjoying using it. It's working great. Already know and trust the coils. I think it's great. Very affordable. Nice range of colours on this as well with the leather changing colours. Uh, so check those out uh, as well. I think it's really good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.